Minister Yureska, what are you doing in Kyiv right now? I'm here to speak at the Kyiv Security Forum, and I'm specifically going to be talking about economic security. Because, as I mentioned, this is, in essence, a war of attrition. And the economic security is what enables the government to continue the fight. So the weapons are important, of course, um, and military defeat is important. But, but existing, continuing to function, continuing to provide for the most basic needs of the people is critical. And this year, uh, in a World Bank uh, damage assessment that was issued uh, on the anniversary of the full-scale invasion in February, and uh, fourteen billion dollars, fourteen point one billion dollars, was identified as the needs for recovery today, mm -hmm. now, this year. In other words, we're not going to wait for a big reconstruction to happen until after all the hostilities have, have have ceased. There are things that need to be done today. One, when you liberate towns after they've been occupied, you have to put back into place roads and bridges and hospitals, things that have been destroyed. And second. This bombing campaign that I described to you, where over 90% is hitting civilian infrastructure, needs to be dealt with. So all winter, there's been work going on to reestablish energy supply, for example, mm -hmm. whether it's heating or electricity. And the Ukrainians have done such a good job in recovering that, in fact, today, Ukraine is exporting electricity to the European Union again. So a budget of about $14 billion to do urgent repair today, again, to ensure that, that, that things are livable. So I'll be talking about economic security and the importance of planning for the future, planning for that bigger reconstruction and how we might finance that bigger reconstruction. I want to ask, you were um, finance minister during not just wartime period, but also a very difficult period in the economy for Ukraine. Um, any advice, any lessons that you gleaned from that, that that you would share, you know, in terms of what's happening in Ukraine right now? It sounds like everything that can happen is happening. Is there anything that advice you would give from the experience you had? The one thing I always say is um, in times of crisis, you have to do uh, the maximum um, because there is a political will to do so. So I would use this time of crisis to do the maximum in terms of reform that's possible during a wartime, whether it's planning for a tax reform, whether it's planning for a customs reform, but all the things that we know still need to be worked upon, I would not waste a moment. And I'm certain that the government is is focusing on that. Um, I think that one of the differences between today and 2015 when I was minister is the incredible level of support globally that's being provided. And so I think that is uh, to the benefit right now of the situation. Of course, the war is so much worse um, than it was uh, when I was a uh, minister, but there is a great deal more support coming in. So I think planning ahead right now, planning ahead for that reconstruction is got to take a lot of brains, a lot of uh, tools. It's got to take a lot of imagination, vision. And I think uh, to some extent, you can't start too early in that planning. So I would use this time for planning for the next stage and use the crisis uh, to the maximum extent to push forward with all the things that need to happen. Now, one other question, which is the question of China. Does it matter if China steps up to the table and offers aid itself? Well, I think it's really up to the Ukrainian government to make that determination. Right now, I think uh, China is not offering aid, and so I don't know that that's a question that's on the table. They're offering uh, uh, negotiations. They're offering uh, support in find, identifying peace, and President Zelensky has spoken with the, with the Chinese president. There was recently a visit of an envoy here. So those discussions are ongoing, but I, I don't know that there's any offer on the table to, to be discussed. Okay.